Hey guys, Brady here, and today I'm gonna be going through some of the most anticipated smartphones of 2017. Now these are all smartphones which are scheduled to come out this year, and before I actually get into the video, I wanna quickly mention that if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe button to be notified whenever I upload a video. Also to be notified as soon as I upload a video, you can click that bell icon next to the subscribe button and select turn on notifications. That will enable you to most likely be the first to see whenever I upload a video. So with that being said, let's get into the video. First up, we have the iPhone 8. So I'll be honest there, currently we do not have that much information about the iPhone 8 in terms of specs, design or basically anything else, but the device will most likely be released this year. Nevertheless, here is what we have so far thanks to many leaks that have surfaced online. Rumors suggest that the 10th anniversary of the iPod could see Apple ditch the traditional home button and add a curved display. Apple's revolutionary iPhone 8 will support a plastic OLED display that curves all over according to a report published in the Korea Herald and picked up by 9to5Mac. The report corroborates the rumor that Apple will release three iPhone models this year, a premium model with a curved OLED display and two with flat LCDs. Furthermore, Apple is hoping to incorporate a new sensor technology in the curved display to help differentiate the iPhone 8 from other OLED smartphones. According to the Korea Herald, Apple has tapped Samsung display to make an estimated 70 to 100 million plastic OLED units to use in the iPhone 8. But that's just one rumor. Another suggests that Apple has three new iPhones in the works of 2017. The iPhone 7S, the iPhone 7S Plus, updates and a completely redesigned all glass iPhone 8. The 7S and 7S Plus will come in a brand new crimson color. According to Japanese Apple centric site Mako Takara, the S model phones will be available in red, in addition to the standard black, jet black, rose gold, gold, and silver. This is actually very interesting, and I could go through a bit more in terms of theories, rumors, and ideas, but I'll leave it to you guys to check out the links provided below for more information. Next, we have the Xiaomi Mi 6. Now, for this device, you actually have a good bit of information that will get us going, so let's get into that. The Xiaomi Mi 6 is rumored to be the first Xiaomi smartphone to debut in markets such as Canada, US, and others who have been patiently waiting for true premium quality budget friendly smartphones. The Mi 6 is also rumored to be getting some serious upgrades, and Xiaomi intends on maintaining the consumer friendly prices. Now I want to get on to the specs and this info comes from Xiaomi Mi 6.org. The Mi 6 is rumored to be getting a slight size enhancement as a 5 inch Mi 5 will be getting an extra couple of inches in the Xiaomi Mi 6 screen. It's looking like Xiaomi will be holding nothing back from the screen specs which include a 4K screen and an unheard of 1496 by 2160 resolution. If the latest Xiaomi Mi 6 rumors hold true, this may bring a big screen with a PPI the 700. A Qualcomm Snapdragon Octa Core processor will be seen again, but will be getting a step up in speed. The Mi 5 processor was clocked at 2.3 GHz, and the Mi 6 is also expected to be clocked at 2.5 to 2.7 GHz. For those of you who don't quite understand what I just said about the processor, that basically just means that it has a great processor for a mobile phone. If you're looking for camera specs, then the Mi 6 will not disappoint. Both the front and rear cameras will surely be getting an upgrade, and the new camera features will go a long way. Leaks suggest a 23 megapixel rear camera and a 7 megapixel front camera will compare to the other high end Android releases. Another important spec of the phone is its memory, which will be stored in your data. The expected memory of the Mi 6 is of different storages, 32GB, 64GB and 128GB, which can be extended using a microSD slot. Also, it is going to have a 4000mAh battery, which can easily last for hours and you can enjoy each and every feature of your phone. Now these are just a few cool features of the Xiaomi Mi 6. If you want to get more info on specs, design and the phone's capabilities, you can do that by checking out the links provided below. Moving on, we have the Samsung Galaxy S8, another device surrounded by rumors, leaks, photos, and many, many possible designs. The biggest piece of information being that it will most likely have a wrap around screen and the home button will be no more. Now, the fact that the home button is being taken away is not a brand new idea because it has been done on many other devices such as tablets. So, the following bit of information are from websites that will be listed below. 
Samsung's new Galaxy S8 is just a few months away from getting its grand unveiling. This unknown smartphone from the Korean technology firm looks likely to be shown to the world in April. Rumors are rife that Samsung is opting for a big, unpacked launch in New York rather than its usual event at the Mobile World Congress in February. The Galaxy S8 is likely to feature a number of improvements over the award-winning Galaxy S7 such as a bigger and brighter screen, better camera and super fast Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 processor. Also before I continue with the information, I want to say that another huge rumor is that Samsung is not doing away with the headphone jack as was done by Apple in their most recent smartphone from last year. So anyone in fear that they will have to get a new pair of headphones if they decide to get this device can clear their minds right now. So now I want to feature a brand new pair of videos which were recently released by Samsung and most likely point to the design of the Samsung Galaxy S8. In a pair of new promotional videos for displayed vision, Samsung has shown off new AMOLED panels which are widely expected to be used in the Galaxy S8. But more than this, it ends both commercials by showing the panels morphed into an unnamed smartphone with a very slim top and bottom bezels. Yes, there still remains a chance that this is a complete coincidence and Samsung made a random handset that just so happens to look like a trio of leaks which all just so happen to be identical yet wrong, but the odds against them seem small. So this is all we know about the S8 so far, and if you want to keep up to date with links and information, you can either subscribe to this channel and I will try to keep my viewers up to date, or you can check the sites listed below. Next up we have the HTC 11. Now this is a device surrounded by a few rumors and a few facts. And I say that because usually some of the things we consider as rumors actually turn out to be facts when the actual device is released. Again, the upcoming information is an extract from a trusted site. Links will be below. It's worth pointing out that the HTC 11 won't be called the HTC 11, although this is what we're calling it until we know otherwise. The HTC U family unveiled on January 12th is not a company's premier smartphone series. According to HTC, it includes an HTC U Ultra, also known as the HTC Ocean Note, while the HTC 11 expected at MWC is known as the HTC Ocean. This suggests that the U Ultra is a fablet of that lineup. The U Play, the mid range model, and the HTC 11 could be the flagship. The name is more than likely going to be HTC U something, but HTC U what? It could potentially be simply HTC U or even HTC U Vive. Everyone is predicting a 12 month cycle for HTC's new phones, which puts the HTC 11 launch date in April 2017. Sources suggest that the LG G6 will go on sale on March 10th and the Galaxy S8 on the 18th of April. So in order to compete, the HTC 11 will need to go on sale within those two dates. It's relatively easy to predict that HTC will use Qualcomm's best available mobile chip for its next flagship, which will be the 10mm Snapdragon 835, which support for Qualcomm Quick Charge 4.0. This processor supports 8GB of RAM, but the HTC 11 is more likely to come before 4-6GB of RAM. Next we have the LG G6. Rumor has it that LG will be stepping up the design of the G6 to a more premium look and quality than we have ever seen on previous phones. The LG G5 had a painted aluminum body, which some didn't like. Being glass, it may not be as durable as a full metal jacket would be, but that may be the price you pay for a better looking phone from LG. Then again, LG might not be moving away from metal after all, with another source claiming that the G6 will have a highly reflective metallic material on the wear. The leak adds that the dimensions are apparently to be 148.8 times 72.3 times 8.3 millimeters, which will make it a smaller size to the LG5, but marginally thicker. Whatever design it gets, the focus according to LG is on aesthetics and usability. The interchangeable modules, or what LG calls friends, are out by the sounds of things, with LG's chief technology Scott Ann saying that LG is moving away from the modular designs. His decision was expected with an earlier report from the Electronic Times in Korea saying the same thing, while another source claimed the decision had been made in order to make the LG G6 waterproof. It looks like LG will launch the G6 in February, likely at MWC 2017. LG has also stated that it's using heat pipes to keep the phones cool and has revealed all the details on an impressive 5.7 inch QHD display that's likely coming to the G6. Finally, we have the OnePlus 4 or what it is currently known as, which is the OnePlus 5. 
So it sounds like I'm doing some math here. A boost of OnePlus 4 links point to a new glass design and a dual lens camera, a QHD screen, a big battery and loads of power. OnePlus has managed to consistently stand out from the crowd by offering high-end hardware at a mid-range price. But even to say that undersells its achievements, the company often outspecs rivals with its never settled mantra and clearly puts time and thought into its phones, yet still manages to sell them for less. The OnePlus 3 has a 5.5 inch 1080 by 1920 display, just like the OnePlus 2 and the OnePlus 1. Given how staunchly the company has stuck to that size and resolution combination, it's tempting to think that it will do the same with the OnePlus 4, and that's certainly possible. The resolution of the screen on the OnePlus 3 is one of its few faults, and one of the only areas you can really point to and say that's where the company cut corners. But here's another side to the story. An extract from OnePlus4.net gives other information. Little did we know that OnePlus is planning around to launch the OnePlus 5 smartphone by skipping a 4th generation smartphone model, which we all expected. We all know that they have recently released OnePlus 3T, which is an upgraded version of the OnePlus 3, which was released in the same year. Many critics are rumoring that the OnePlus 4 device is not being skipped due to technical or marketing plans, and there's a whole lot more of an interesting story behind it. In China, number 4 is considered to be an unlucky number, and this seems to be the reason why the 4th generation model is probably being skipped. And it is evident that OnePlus is looking forward to release various variants for each generation of smartphone, which we've seen with the OnePlus 3 and 3T. Another bit of news flashing around the internet says that OnePlus 5 will be ceramic tipped, which will make it the second in the OnePlus family with ceramic texture. The last year model, OnePlus X had the cornea ceramic finish, which was quite a good touch added to it, and frankly speaking, I find this interesting. And this is where I end this video. If you liked it, learned anything new or want more, feel free to subscribe, comment below, and give this video a thumbs up. Also, check out the links in the description below that which will lead you to a few sites where you can get much more information about the devices that I mentioned in this video. Check out my previous videos by using the links provided in the description below, and that's about it. So once again, thanks for watching, and I will be seeing you in the next video.